right now Swerve Strickland is spelled with dollar signs. Yeah. What uh what how does it feel? How does it Man. feel to and can we hold something? <laughs> <laughs> I just want some shit. You gonna talk to Rich? Yeah. <laughs> Rich had right. this money well before I did. Yeah, he in London, he don't be picking up. Yeah, but, he's, he's in London right now yeah. calling NFL games. Oh, but man. um yeah, just going from the lunch table conversations. Yeah. You know, life at the cul-de-sac to where you are now signing this contract, this, this history, history making. yeah, history making contract. I know just from talking to you now, you always got the hunger for what's next, but just yeah. tell me what this feels like right now. Oh, uh, this this feels like um it, it feels like security. Well, that uh besides like the physical like like just like the Things like it feels honestly like I I wasn't afraid to leave the lunch table. Mm. Mm. I'm the one that got up and said, I'm going to do it. And that's honestly what all this is really about. Don't be afraid to be the one to get up and do it. Yeah. Somebody has to. Like there's one thing of like Terry Taylor used to say, he's like, the somebody that like somebody in this room is going to change the business. Mm. Why not you? Right. And I remember texting him that like recently after that, I said, I remember you said to our class when we were watching tape one day, somebody's going to change the business business in this room. Why mm. can't it be you? And I challenged you on that. Mm. I took you up on that without even telling you. I took you up on that. I just didn't know how I was going to do it. I didn't even have a plan in mind. I didn't know what it was going to be. But I had every intent in my mind to change the business and leave my mark in it somewhere, somehow. And um, for people that want to, like, say it's not enough, it's like he didn't do this, he didn't follow up. with There's, like, of course, there's still always going to be more to do, always. But what I've done now, up to this point, if I, like, passed tomorrow, hope God I don't, like, I'd be more than happy and satisfied with it, Mm -hmm. you know? Like, I'm not thinking too much about the next too much, but I do have plans, and I do have... Mm-hmm. seeds planted that are really starting to grow quicker. Yeah. And I'm really going to like, okay, I got to, this is going to be challenging to like water all these <laughs> different yeah. plots at the same time. Cause they're growing quicker than I thought. Mm-hmm. Um, now it's just, now I got to adapt and move forward. But the, the best part I feel about this now, what I really am proud of and what I'm really happy about with, with the now and the contract mm-hmm. I've for 15 years I've been adapting and moving around and watching how the business kind of takes shape and form. And then I got to sit and then like find my way in it and like sit and find my way in it, find where I belong in the room. Now it's going to start moving around me. Okay. And that's the position I always wanted to be in. Like now, like things are starting to part and move around or swerve now. Mm-hmm. And that's another t- type of mental I got to learn to put myself in now. Like, I don't got to, like, like move out of the way for everybody now. Now it's, like, kind of moving out of the way for me. Yeah. I was like, oh, wow. You turned into different. ludicrous. <laughs> you know? Get out the way. Yeah. You turned into ludicrous. It's like, yeah, now, like, certain things are just, like, starting to move. Like, wow, that's that was easy. Like, you mean things don't got to be that hard anymore? Like, no. No, they don't. Because... Mm-hmm. You have 15 years of working hard. You have 15 years behind all that. Now things are just like, oh, yeah, sure. Like, you mean you don't need to see? No, no, we got you. Because they've seen it. Like, they've seen my work. And they, like, I had to earn the equity for that, too. Mm -hmm. I had to earn that. I had to, like, show that I can do your job before I can do mine. Mm -hmm. I got to show, like, I could do what you ask of me. Like I said, of me just coming in like, I want this, I want this, I want this. And I was like, no, how can I make your job easier? How can I make your tasks for the day simple? And you don't got to worry about my part of what I, of my job. You never like, it's like, it's like as a quarterback, you don't, you don't got to worry about the left side. That's blocked. Right. <laughs> you know, like I just got to focus on getting this, 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 but that he ain't touching me. Like mm-hmm. they're showing blitz on the weak side. Like, yeah. I got a homie over there on the yeah, left tackle. Secure. Left tackle there, yeah, yeah, secured. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you don't got to worry about that. And that makes everybody's job so much simpler when you don't got to worry about the next person, when you can come in and make the just the day easy. That's someone you always want to keep around 
And like, that's someone you're always going to like that. Like uh, I said on breakfast club, it was like, that's someone like when you got someone so good at their job, you'll pay extra for it. Watch new episodes of no contest wrestling every Wednesday or listen, wherever you get your podcast. And don't forget to follow us at no contest wrestling podcast on Instagram.